son. It is both an honour and a privilege to have with us on Queen Mary II today so many members of Australia's finest generation. As Chief Executive of Carnival Australia, I want to welcome you on board Cunard Line's magnificent flagship, Queen Mary II. I'm sure it was uh, not lost on any of you that your journey on Queen Mary didn't quite have the same feel of trappings and luxury as you found today. As our guest today, you are our living connection to the historic events of 70 years ago. And it's an extraordinary and moving experience to have you all on board this morning. On behalf of Cunard Line, and those of us who are proud custodians of the line's 171 year heritage, it is an honor to be in the presence of veterans who 70 years ago left their homes and sailed to war on board Cunard Line's original Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth. Today, we celebrate a royal rendezvous of two great Cunard Liners, but also remember an earlier rendezvous when the original Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth met in Sydney in 1941. Thousands of Australian soldiers, airmen and army nurses sailed from Sydney on Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth during World War II when the two ships were attached to the British Ministry of War Transport. During the war, Queen Mary visited Sydney 13 times. Queen Elizabeth was here on nine separate occasions and I know the special significance these ships have for you. During the war, Queen Mary alone carried nearly 800,000 military people, up to 16,000 troops at a time on each ship, and sailed more than a million kilometers throughout the world. The wartime contribution of Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth was also very much an Australian story. Australian military personnel sailed on the two ships to the Middle East and to Singapore. We salute your efforts over so many years to ensure they have never been forgotten. It is now possible to reflect on the human cost of all sides of a conflict that none of us would want to see repeated. I want you to know that all of you and your mates who sailed to war on Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth some 70 years ago will forever be remembered with great respect by all of us at Cunard Line. You are very much part of our company's heritage and members of a very special generation. We thank you for your service, lest we forget. Now, it was very moving actually to be here in Sydney Harbour with both Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth, but more so the 72 veterans. I mean, um, I'm a youngster compared to them, and I have so much respect for what they actually did during the war years and to meet them is um, very moving actually. How remarkable to see fellows who went to war on board Cunard ships 70 years ago and here they are today, um, you know, really, they were really into it weren't they? Yeah and the best piece of that is that they came back so you know some didn't and that's what we're remembering today but they have such vivid memories I mean one of them just gave me um, his orders 
and the time they sailed from Sydney. And of course, they didn't know where they were going. And then they found themselves in Singapore. They had no idea they were going into Singapore. And then he went on to tell me of some of his experiences there. It's quite remarkable. Do you think there's, uh, there's lessons to be learned there today for all of us about just the extent to which um, uh, Cunard Line was involved in the defence of Australia? Well, we often talk about the history and the heritage of Cunard Line and what we've done in different wars. And therefore, it's just right that we, we commemorate that. And uh, it's just, um, it's marvellous, very moving for everybody.